We're here at OSCA 2015 talking about precision genomics. I'm here with Dr. Lincoln Nadel, the Director of Precision Genomics. Now Lincoln, tell me a little bit about how does precision genomics extend the life of stage 4 cancer patients? Well, I think precision genomics is extending um, the lives of stage 4 cancer patients in two major ways. Okay. The first is that uh, by using um, precision genomic testing, we're able to identify treatment options for patients who are running out of options. Another way to put that is I think that we're finding hope for people who have been running out of hope. Uh, so that's very important. The second way, though, is more direct, which is that these treatments, um, when applied correctly, if, uh, when patients have actionable mutations in their tumor and we can apply the appropriate targeted therapy, we're in fact seeing that they are living longer, which is very exciting. So it's those two major ways that I think we're helping stage four patients. But the, the area of emphasis that I would add is that it's not just that we are extending lives, but it's the quality of life that those patients have. So it's one thing to live longer, but it's another thing to feel well right. while you're living longer. And that's what we're seeing happen. And so that's where there's so much enthusiasm in this area right now, because we think we can extend life, but also improve the quality of life. Now you just published an abstract about extending the life of stage four cancer patients compared to standard treatment. Now explain to me a little bit what you've found in that research. Uh, we have published and presented at this meeting and will be at other meetings and in um, upcoming uh, publications uh, that when we take patients who have actionable alterations in their tumor and receive targeted therapies and we compare their outcomes with patients who received standard treatments and keep in mind that this is in a population of patients who are refractory to standard therapies. We found that those patients live uh, almost twice as long as comparable uh, cohort patients who receive standard therapies. So what this means is that patients uh, who have failed standard treatments and become refractory to those treatments, we can perform a genomic analysis, find a targeted therapy, and they will live longer than if we used uh, another refractory standard approach. Now, Dr. Nadel, we understand that this applies to stage four cancer patients. Do you see this moving on to other stages of cancer? It's something we've thought a lot about. Um, I think that we're early in this whole precision cancer medicine approach. Some of our findings and findings from other institutions suggest that using genomic testing to identify targeted treatment options holds a lot of promise. I still think that data needs to mature even more. We need additional uh, outcomes data to definitively prove that uh, this approach really is the best for stage four patients. Right. And I don't think we're quite there yet. Once we define that um, more fully, then I think we'll see this start to progress and make its way into earlier stages of cancer. Uh, but again, I think this field is, is still maturing and, and there'll be some time before we get there. Well, thank you so much for being here, Dr. Nadal. My pleasure.